crazy, crazy dipper. Let me tell you something about a little something about something, man. Yo, Saturday app, on up the day off or not. Gotta get my tunes up on the chopping block. I see my man's Billy Slade just up the block. Talk shop about the business that we're setting up. A vintage event. This is the come up show that feel good music lives. Real recognized, real. It's your boy DJ Chetto. We're here in B Town. Brampton. This guy's worked on more than 40 solo and collaborative albums, worked with Jay Dilla, Chaos, all, all the great people that we, you guys out there love. Please introduce yourself. I'm Mocha Only. Some people know me as Torch. Some people know me as Colonel DeSlaw. And uh, I've been around for a long time. And I just do music. So t- tell me, uh, obviously, you know, people might recognize you growing up uh, with solo members. How is the collaborative albums that you do different than the work that you do with solo members? With the Swollen stuff, uh, I think we created something like brand new, something, something that didn't exist yet, you know, that can't even really be um, like boxed, you know what I'm saying? Um, with other collaborative efforts I've done, it's been usually with people that are more on the same uh, wavelength as far as influences go like the jazz the soul all that sort of thing that's that's my background so those efforts I think came out closer to sounding like me as opposed to uh, like a completely different entity when mad child step on stage I cause hysteria now they won't let my crazy ass back in America eagle labeled me as an illegal evil immigrant I'm far beyond the magic of a wand inside a wizard's fist sharper than the hand of Edward Scissors I'm a wizard so people know I mean it's definitely all love like I say what I say about Swollen with the utmost respect and you know we've actually been tinkering around with doing some new stuff I've done a few new tracks with mad child and uh They've taken it right back to the 90s raw shit, so I think people are really gonna like the new Swollen stuff when they peep it. And Mad Child's solo stuff too. Big ups. That, that's good, man, because a lot of people, I think they had assumptions when you left Swollen members, right? Where yeah. the, the truth is, the group, to me, I felt like it had just kind of gotten away from its what what the, what the original core was, was supposed to be about musically. and, and I wasn't really having that much fun anymore. And even on top of that, balancing my solo stuff with the group, it was really difficult at the time. So I, I figured I'd step away from it and just see where it ends up. Let the beautiful be the beautiful that it can. Ops been fast like a mile post. Think about it, drinking medium and mile roast. So is it true you've done 40? Solo and collaborator. Is that more? Is it less? Or, or it's probably closer to 60. Okay. Yeah. 60. So how, when you look back on that and your archive of what you've done, man, are you like you feel proud of you? Say, oh, like, do you do you think you ever need to slow down or you need to pick it up or you just keep going at a steady pace all the time? Mm, I actually feel like I could stand to pick it up, really. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, that's that many projects but since 1995 right it's like 2000 and whatever it is now 11 you know what i'm saying so it's not that much really per year yeah. uh, feels good right what's up what's up Expedition in another recognition Much recognition, stuck to my mission Stick to your guns, that's how you get people listening If it isn't banging, then it's this thing Different kind of shit, Thursday night and shit Feeling like a renewal and work makes time legit And now the album, Airport 5, that's, that's what's coming out Tell me about that, man um, Okay, Airport is a, it's a series It's my spring, it started as a spring mixtape idea In 2007, I did the first one um, and it was inspired off a photograph I took at a Montreal airport. And I got home after that trip and I was like, well, I'm just gonna make a whole project based on how this, this uh, photograph feels. And uh, it turned out to be like a spring type of theme. So yeah, I got good response from that. And the next year I did it and over again, you know, part two, and I've just kept it on. So now we have the fifth one. Never resign. 
here. Come and follow the mind. Styles are divine. Couple miles for the shine. Check it out. So this one. This one's special to me because I did away with a lot of the extras that I'm normally known for. I kept it short, it's 29 minutes long, it's 12 tracks, just straight beats and rhymes and the dirty soul, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited for people to hear it. Um, the Grab 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 video and single is out now. I'm about to do a, a Grab 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 remix, hopefully with my man Planet Asia. Big ups to him, he also signed to the same label that, that Airport's coming out on. It's called Wandering Works out of Vancouver. You're saying uh, you're some of your influences were soul and jazz. Tell me about your production, the people who are gonna, who haven't listened yet, like what your production sound, what influences, where does that come from? Okay, well, I think the first thing people would say, um, and Chris, you probably agree with me, is, is, is that like, uh, a lot of people say that I'm rooted in the 90s sound, and I would tend to agree with that because it seemed like the 90s sound kind of came and went and didn't really get a chance to flourish so much except for, you know, there's a few key people responsible for continuing that, like uh, uh, like Beat Miners or Pete Rock or whatever, or Jay Dilla or whatever, you know what I mean? I mean, that's the energy that I feel I come from. I'm a product of the 90s, that, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a long time, and that's the energy I hold in my heart. And um, to me, it'd be irresponsible to turn my back on that and just follow whatever's hot. So I'm gonna keep on giving the grimy stuff. I like the dirty drums. I like to keep it loose, you know, as if maybe a, a you can't tell if it's sampled or, or played by a band or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, and experimental. And I and I love jazz music. I'm from a jazz background in, in many ways. That's what I studied when I was young. So um, I try to use a lot of jazz chord progressions and stuff, you know, to, to bring out different moods that aren't necessarily captured in a lot of modern day rap music. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what guys are rapping about now. I don't really, I don't listen to a whole lot of rap music, you know what I mean? And um, I don't know, some people might think that's bad or, or like, oh, you're not supportive. It's not, it's not true. I mean, it, I'm aware of some stuff, you know, but I like to avoid influence, you know what I'm saying? I want to influence myself and just try to push my own boundaries. Yeah. And that's how you push out a unique sound. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope people think it's a unique sound. I think it's a unique sound, you know what I'm saying? Um, I try to be modest with it at the same time, but you know, I'm also trying to sell a product here. So yes, it's a very, very unique sound. Starfish got me open like star fit, hoping that you in the market for something in the pocket. You know, maybe I've sold myself short in the past or whatever, and, and I don't think about what I'm doing as being particular or special. So, um, I think artists definitely, if they're doing something that's sincere from the heart, they should definitely um, get themselves a pat on the back, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard with so many influences and everybody's saying, no, that's not going to work, or this not going to work commercially, or nobody wants to hear that. That's not true. There's 8 billion people in the world, you know what I mean? Like, people were able to sell a pet rock, you know what I'm saying? I should be able to sell some soulful music. Is there anything else that you would like to say more coldly than people? Um, you know what? I, I want to sincerely thank the people that, that have been long-time listeners and and all the new listeners, um, it's nice to know that I don't just do this for myself. Like, I really appreciate the feedback. Um, I'm trying to consolidate everything that I've done because one of the biggest criticisms I got is that it's too hard to catch up on what I'm doing. And I don't think that's true because if you're looking for something, you can always find it. But I'm trying to build a new centralized website and everything is uh, going to be synchronized so people will know what I'm up to. And that will be mochaonly.com. So check for that coming soon. Um, I want to thank Wandering Works 
for uh, they're about to drop this Airport 5 album. Uh, I want to thank my man Crunk Chris at Legendary because he's been constantly supportive over the years, re-releasing like stuff that's that's gone out of print and uh, Ron Contour albums, like a lot of extra stuff in between. And um, yeah, that's it. Love to the world. Mocha O. This is the come up show that feel good music lives. We will recognize real. We out. Oh, oh, one more thing. Stupid. I gotta thank the come up show because real does recognize real. I'm real. Y'all real. And we're coming up. And that's what it is. New tunes blossom like the June of a bloom. I'm in the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I should have I should have mentioned that. Me and Booty Brown from the legendary West Coast rap group with Farside have a new group where it's just me and him and we're the Googling heirs. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like the millionaires, but everything's by Google. And even though he's close, he's only in Los Angeles, we chose to do this thing like through the internet. When I see him, we don't really do music, we just we just kick it and hang, but we wanted it to be like that was the angle of the album. Let's make the album through our Gmail accounts, you know what I'm saying? So we're the Googling heirs and um, the album should be out probably uh, mid-summer or whatever. So we're still shopping it, deciding what to do with it, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It definitely like that 90s vibe, you know what I'm saying? Pick up the far side. Feel the sun come up, feel the sun come up, feel the sun come up.